Hello, Brother Mineiro here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and the Spanish campaign where um, something's going on. Uh, yeah, Britain's out. <laughs> what the hell? But the, did they just peace out with Germany or did they just peace out with everybody? No, they peaced out with everybody. That is so so weird because you don't get the peace screen um yeah i am definitely looking forward to improvements on that oh geez right uh we are spending money hand over fist um i'm queuing up yet another shipyard expansion uh just so that we can have more ships under construction and refitting and so on uh we can Get some more stuff on the go. I'm gonna uh, approve another cruiser. I think we'll be okay with that. Oh yeah, two hundred thousand tons. We can just probably approve both. Yep. Uh, these are gonna finish refitting, and then we can. Get the rest of the refits on the go. Uh, okay, I'm just going to hit end turn. Okay, and we peace out with France. Uh, yeah, like, n can't really ask. Oh, we'll ask for southern Algeria, though. Marquesas Islands. Where the hell are those? Excuse me while I uh, pull up a map. <laughs> Marquesas Islands. Oh, the middle of the Pacific. So, no, we won't ask for those. But we will ask for the rest of Algeria. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, this one. So, we're at peace. Okay. Um... <laughs> cool. cool. Uh, I'm gonna put everyone on limited, uh, and hopefully that will help fix our budget a little bit. Still, we're still spending a lot. It should be okay because we're we're investing into uh, construction. All right, let's get everything unsuspended. Still okay. Yeah, we're still okay. Yeah, we're still good. Uh, we are spending a lot. <laughs> uh, I will keep that under control and. Uh, I might uh, end up putting the reserve ships into mothballs, um, but I'll I'll keep an eye on all that, and uh, I'll be back either when I'm building a new ship or when uh, there's some action. <coughs> Welcome back. Uh, it's now August 1921. 
Uh, I'm still fiddling around with uh, budgets, but as you can see, it's, you know, we spend a lot of money, but it's it's starting to uh, stabilize, so that's fine. Um, uh, we're at war with Russia again, for unknown reasons, probably because Russia, uh, the Soviet Union and Germany are at war, but uh, let's see, yep, the whole alliance. Uh, oh, Belgium, oh nice. Uh, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yup. <laughs> uh, we're building quite a lot of stuff, actually. Um, so, as you can see here, this, this is our under construction stuff. So, I'm slowly expanding our uh, cruiser forces. Uh, now that well, actually, that hasn't finished, but we're at war again. So I'm actually going to lay down another Velasco and another Navara. Um, just so that we have a kind of continuous, <laughs> continuous uh, supply of new cruisers and things. Uh... Uh, yeah, <laughs> just trying to keep him happy, but damn, Belgium. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll make us some money. That is super helpful. Um, We can use our wartime budget because I seriously doubt the Russians are going to do very much. But um, just in case they are... Uh, what do they actually have? Oh wow, they've been uh, they've been busy. Okay, um, <laughs> shit. Uh, they might actually have a fleet that can cause us problems. I put the Navarras on sea control. I'm gonna put the San Pascals on sea control. And I'm going to put the Velasco's. Oh, they're building. Oh, the only one that's done on sea control. Uh, the pickets. <laughs> they're going to be on in being. And everything else is just going to be on defend. Aquarius uh, on defend. Uh, Espedachinas on in being. And Guerreros on sea control. There we go. So we've got a kind of tiered approach so that our best ships are. <coughs> our best ships are the ones on sea control. And then we've got a kind of second rate ships on limited and then we've got our reserves on defend um i could cancel the building of this uh, in fact i think i will because i think that's giving us pretty big budget problems here it is um <clears throat> the rest is because we're building stuff and it's very expensive we're really starting to come to the point where um building ships is becoming really difficult for us because, yeah, we're sitting on a pretty paltry GDP still. I've been doing everything I can to get this up. Um, but you see, we're so far behind, it's not even funny. Um, the US Navy's yearly budget is larger than our entire country's gross domestic product. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, not great. Um the random oil production that we seem to have is is great. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that, but um, yeah, we're 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 trying our best. But uh, yeah, there's a lot to deal with. Anyway, I'll be back um, when we either encounter some Russians or something else is going on. 
Well, uh, welcome back. <laughs> it's now October, and um, it looks like, yeah, Russia's been busy. These are, I mean, they could be terrible, but they don't look terrible on paper battleships. Um, eight 13.3 inch guns, uh, they do 25 knots, so they're faster than the um, Maria de Jesus de Carrera here. Uh, and they've got four of them. They've got a battle cruiser, which might not be the best thing in the world. Uh, they've got some, I think, old cruisers and, some, and a lot of small ships. Um, and I tried to withdraw from this, uh, but failed. Now, that's fair enough, really, because, like I said, the <laughs> Maria de Jesus de Agreda is not fast enough to get away. So we're going to have to make a fight of this. Um, but it's going to be a more of a uh, tactical withdrawal than it's going to be anything else. on the battleships. Oh, interesting. To Dela, sorry. I said to Lida. It's called the Toledo, but it's not. <laughs> so we're going to try and kite away from them a bit. As best we can. And the Tudela is going to run, kind of cover. Save your ammunition. Because I really don't want to make a fight of this. I can avoid it. Stand up fight 1v4 is uh, hard enough, but they've got a battle cruiser as well, and they outnumber me in light ships. their plan is here. I don't look like they're aggressively coming in against us. Maybe the Russians too are content with not engaging? Hmm. If I was there, I'd be super aggressive. Just gonna 
agree to disagree, are we? Well, I mean, okay. It's very disappointing in terms of a <laughs> video, but sure. Oh, we did actually hit them a couple of times. Wow. <laughs> Technical victory. <laughs> Be nice if we could get an ID at least. Get some useful intelligence. Here we go. Uh, reasonable offset. Thirty-six caliber guns. Sh hmm. Interesting. Short ranged. Yeah, very interesting. Armor is decent. Uh, standard protection. Light shells. Cordite and Dunite. Yeah, they're not, they're not terrible. I mean, they're not amazing. But, uh, they're, uh, they have sufficient numbers of these damn things. <laughs> That, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I think I could take one of them, one on one, but, uh, four, plus whatever this thing has, very similar looking. Oh, that's because it is another one of the battleships. Okay. It might be the battle cruiser, but yeah, they've got four of these things. I think uh, that is not good odds to engage. Absolutely not. Anyway, I'll be uh, I'll be back once I'm on the campaign screen. Welcome back. It's now November, and uh, it looks like the married <laughs> uh, he says the Akreda has found some slackers from the Russian fleet, and uh, this is something that we could maybe pull off. Um, I've also sent uh, the rest of the battleships down to the Strait of Gibraltar to try and uh, block them up, basically. Southeast. Right, let's go. Got an overpin. Whoa, 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 terror. Jesus, my man. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. And they are uh, proving as a distraction. Screen command is so wonky. It genuinely is. Oh, nice hit. I'll fire in a torpedo, though.
The turret's gotten stuck again. Fucking hell. Seems, I think it's just if you turn really fast, uh, you get this problem. I'm hoping that um, if I get the improved turret rotation mechanisms, I can reduce the chance of this happening, but it seems to happen a lot. It's very annoying. Nice hit from the uh, destroyer there. More torpedoes. Ah, oh, no more torpedoes. <laughs> uh, oh, that was a solid hit from the fives. Right, one down. Oh, bang. There we go. Right. Light cruiser. Already damaged light cruiser. Interesting. Yeah, of course, the front guns can't fire. Fucking hell. Going for a torpedo run. Oh, the front gun's working now. Jesus, took them long enough. The battleship is uh, demolishing the Constantine here anyway. Torpedoes aiming. Oh, we hit once. It's not too bad. Oh, now the rear guns don't work. Lovely. Perfect. There we go. She sinks. Okay, good job. Um, not bad. And with that, I think I'm going to end the episode. We finally got a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of action and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.